So I'm getting, 50, um, Jeff Lawton did the calculations, and I've double checked them on my website, we get 15 tonnes per acre, and we're about sort of two thirds established um, currently. So we're exceeding the Australia's peak um, farm produce, this is full mechanised chemical um, agribusiness, by about almost four times, and we're doubling Europe's best efforts. So that's the evidence, <laughs> um, and so no one can dispute it. So every time you hear that nonsense, you know, people um, disputing what permaculture can really do. It's, hey, I'm living it. And the other thing, the whole thing is pest free, other than cherry slugs, which attack my little um, hawthorn, two hawthorn trees, and the, a little cherry which is misplaced because they all come from that big plum tree, a wild plum. Um, the rest of the stone fruit, everything isn't touched by cherry slugs. And um, we have snails because we don't have chickens or ducks. So, uh, no, we have okay. We have we have fruit bats. We have possums. We have rainbow lorikeets. Rainbow lorikeets love persimmons oh, in really high trees that no one can get to. <laughs> fruit bats love huge fig trees that are about no, what is that? That's about eight meters wide and eight meters high. So, when you keep your trees low, and we've got three cats running around, I don't know if any of the cats surface themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have it. yeah. so we've got three little kitty cats. Um, so, the possums don't want to occupy the ground, and there's no, they can't really hop along the fences to get to the trees. The trees are low, so the fruit bats, it's a flight hazard for them to actually come this low. And the rainbow lorikeets will go for the easier targets. Plus, if the only time we've actually had to net a tree was for that little pink lady tree with the apples left on it. That just took a fancy to that for some reason. The Granny Smith next to it was fine. The, the Gala and the Red Jonathan, they were fine. They wouldn't take, touch those. They just wanted pink lady. So when it's that small, two people, piece of bird net. Okay, flick, pull, done. Tied it up. That was it. And all we heard of the rest of the afternoon was frustrated cries um, because they were really, really insensitive to what we did. Um, and so that makes it really easy. So the whole point is minimal management. The whole thing takes about two hours a week to manage. And um, as I'm finding, as it evolves and grows, it takes progressively less time. Most of the time is spent harvesting or pruning things back after they overgrow. That's essentially all we have to do here.